So, so they're not perfect, but I do have a background as a cosplayer. So I do know how to make stuff to an extent. So, so these... <laughs> these are the user ears. They've got wire in them, so I was able to bend them into their shapes. Uh, but since uh, I kind of interpret Yuzu as like a cute little fluffy moth, uh, I made I made them fluffy, little fluffy moth ears. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. They're very soft. Actually, let me show you guys. So this is what I meant by um, how much of a <laughs> So, all right, so um, this is the pile length of the fur currently, um, like how long it is. And this is, this is what I had to work with because the most important thing to me was color matching. Look how fucking long, <laughs> how fucking long this fur is. <laughs> so I had to shave down so much of it. But it's really soft and it's like really thick. Got a week of work and I already love the vibes. Still hoping that a Euro can will get you to Germany someday. I'm a play some Nike while I'm at it. Maybe. Always feel free to recommend me to conventions that you want me to attend. And maybe they'll invite me. That's a lion mane. <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, I had to do a lot of shaving um, this fake fur and it took a couple tests to get it right. Um, and then the little tips, the little blue tips are airbrushed. And then the inside fabric. I'm just like a big cosplay crafting nerd, so I like talking about this stuff. The inside fabric is this really nice, low-key expensive uh, <laughs> velvet. So it looks way more neon, holy shit. My camera is making this look super fucking neon, but I swear it's like a nice kind of burnt orange. <laughs> I don't know why it looks so fucking bright. But uh, this is the, the color. Cinder. Yeah. My girly pop nail queen. Hi. Where are your black claws? I always love them. See you in Texas. Yes, I am I am embarrassed Ooh. about that. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I have talked about that before. Uh, before the hand cam, but uh, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, I have crafter's hands today. Uh, <laughs> but um, so this was the most challenging part. You want to you want to see why? Oh, let me. Actually, let me put those out of the way for now. So this is this is the fabric I had to work with. Now, let me get these out. I went through one. Two, three, four, five, six trials <laughs> to get it right. <laughs> to get it right. <laughs> it took me a whole week to do this shit, man. <laughs> it took way longer than I wanted to. <laughs> because, so, so here's the main problem. Um, because.
horns for Tricky, and I know Vienna's getting a cosplay of her for WeaveCon, and I know Bao has like the little Why like, jelly Why not use felt for the inside hat. of the ears? Because felt is not that great. <laughs> like if you feel felt and then you feel velvet, like a nice high quality velvet, you'll know why. You'll know why. And I'm sure Yuzu's gonna be petting her ears the whole time. <laughs> yay! 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 <laughs> so fuzzy. So fuzzy. <laughs> so, um, yeah. It's been a lot of fucking work. That's why I haven't been streaming for a whole week. You did a really good job. Thank you! <laughs> Thanks, new me! <laughs>
And we're just gonna be making two of the same right now. I'll leave I'll leave these off to the side so you can appreciate them because they are beautiful. Yuzu is beautiful. <clears throat> sweater looks cozy. Uh, I mean this this sweater! <laughs> the one that's covered in fake fur and probably paint. <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? All right, where's my Sharpie? Need a Sharpie? Craft sweater? You guys are never gonna believe what this sweater is from. <laughs> this, this sweater? <laughs> I've been to a few of your streams and you've quickly become a comfort streamer for me. Aww. Thank you for all the laughs and fun times. Thank you, thank you. Before I forget, um, I'm going to get a heat safe surface because I'm going to need my heat gun for this to heat this up and I don't want to melt my plastic cutting mat. <laughs> so prepare your workspace. Um, but oh yeah, this, this, this hoodie, um, it's very old. Um, some, some of you OGs might have remembered, um, my very first merch drop. Not as Cinder. Here, look how much love this has gotten. Here, let me show you the... Let me show you the top. Here. Look at her. <laughs> it's Tashi! <laughs> I had merch a long long time ago for her <laughs> good old days alrighty so we're working with wobla what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna try to use um the least amount of material as possible because this stuff is super fucking expensive so uh warbla is a thermoplastic. It comes in plastic sheets of varying dimensions, different sizes. And it it's kind of like a, a stiff plastic up until you heat it at a very high temperature. Hence the heat gun I'm gonna be using that I've suffered many burns from. And then once it's heated up, you can mold it into almost anything you want. Like it becomes very soft and pliable. So that's what we're gonna use for these antennas. And then once it cools back down, it becomes nice and sturdy and rigid again. Another thing about Warbla is that it sticks to itself very, very well. And you'll kind of see on this side, it's got like two different sides. This side is um, a more scratchy side. And then this side is a more smooth side. Very, very smooth. And that smooth side is like a glue. There's like a glue backing to it. So if you stick the glue side to the glue side, it really, really bonds very strongly. So I'm going to cut out this first one. I was gonna have some extra on the bottom, but I don't think I'll need it. And we're gonna leave some extra room around the edges. You'll see why. So now I'm gonna flip this upside down. So that way when we cut it out, there will be two shiny pieces facing each other and then the bond will be extra strong. Now this kind of warbler I'm using is called black warbler. Uh, typical standard warbler comes in tan. That's typically the color you'll see it in. Um, but tan warbler has a much rougher, scratchier surface. It's the original, the original uh, warbler. However, black warbler is made to be a little different because the surface is much smoother than normal warbler. But the trade-off is that it is not as sturdy. It's a little bit weaker, but we don't really need this to support anything strong because they're just little antennas. So we can use the smoother black warbler 
and it's also going to be much easier to smooth out any of the bumps later on because there are minimal bumps to begin with. Yeah. Life before Cinder? It's <laughs> it's just my ASMR channel. It's not like a, a fast VTuber. <laughs> it's in my link page. Okay, I'm going to cut this one out. We can cut this one out like pretty much exact on the line. And the cool thing with Warbler is that you want to save every little scrap of this stuff because you can actually take scraps, heat them all up, and just smush them together and make something else out of them. It's very, very versatile. So now we have our two shiny sides and we're going to stick these two sides together when we heat them up and then these are going to bond. Uh, we're doing two layers to make it extra strong. And also, so that way we can sandwich a wire, sort of in this little bottom thin part. And that is how we're gonna get this rounded edge, this little rounded piece here for the bottom of the antenna. Hey Dan, what's up? I'm making Yuzo stuff. Yuzo. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna make another one of these patterns, or not pattern, but I'm gonna trace trace this pattern and the way I get the it, it, I know it sounds kind of kind of suspicious but the way to get these paper patterns for my cosplay patterns is to actually take a picture like this of the character that you are making and you actually uh, I, I open it up in Adobe Illustrator and then I just trace I just trace around it Demonic Psycho! Thank you so much for the raid! Hi Raiders! Welcome! My name is Cinder. I'm the Hellhound VTuber. And today we're actually um, working on a surprise for my girly Yuzu, one of my friends. Uh, we're gonna be uh, IRL at WeebCon soon. And I'm actually working on her moth ears and her antennas. So these are her ears. And currently working on her little antennas at the top of this picture here. Uh, I have a background as a cosplayer, so I like making this stuff and sharing my experiences on how to do so. Yeah. Hope you guys had a good stream. If you plan on sticking around, I hope you enjoy your time here. If you plan on heading out, I hope you have a good day. Thank you, thank you. A7X, 713, thank you for five months. Oh, damn, thank you for a whole year. Thank you, thank you so much. Razor, thank you for 13 months. I really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, no spoilers. I'm gonna hopefully be able to surprise her with this at the con. I also made Tricky's horns when we went to TwitchCon. I love this stuff. I also started working on Numi and Vienna horns. I haven't gotten around to finishing those yet because I ran out of the materials and then I got super busy. And then... Um, because all the other girlies... So we're gonna have a big group meet and greet, right? And all the other girls have little accessories of their characters. Except Yuzu. So I went into overdrive and I'm like, Alright, I'm not gonna stream for a whole week and just be a hermit and do nothing but work on this. Because I love her and I want her Meow. to be able to I'm Cinder's experience lap cat. this. Because there's nothing cooler than like getting to portray your VTuber self. It's so much fun. So cool. Tiny Scrap. We're keeping this. We're not throwing this away. This is valuable resources. This shit is so fucking expensive. So. <laughs> That's going into the, the scrap pile. Yeah, no waste. Mm. That should fit right there. Yeah, RTX time. Is that gonna... Mm, I'm gonna shift it over a little. There we 
here we go. Have you guys ever thought about cosplay? How expensive is it? Um, I'm pretty sure the jumbo sheets go for like $90. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while since I've had to order some, so I don't know if the price has gone up or down. You think about it? Time and resources, honestly, that's like the biggest factor. Yeah. 10 by 10 three pack is $35. Hmm. I'd like to get the jumbo sheets because I know I'm like, I mean, like as a cosplayer, I knew I was gonna be using a lot of it. Okay, so now we have our the two. commitment for your friends is so wholesome to see Cinder Six Flower. <laughs> thank you. Agent Beast, thank you for six months. Big Shot, thank you for five months. Thank you. $50, that's actually a very affordable <laughs> cosplay. Um, if you make your own, yeah, I've spent too much, too much money <laughs> making my own cosplays. But like, you could go simple, you could get like a, I don't know, My Hero Academia tracksuit for like 20 bucks off Amazon. And then don't even get me started on the wigs and the shoes. Oh my goodness. Wigs and shoes will be the most expensive items you spend for cosplay. Unless you're smart and you go to the thrift store for shoes. It's gonna be for something that you wear like once, maybe twice to a con. Two cheapo cosplays, let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Made outfit in cat ears. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Alrighty, so. I'm trying to remember what I did. I think I actually smushed them together and then wrapped it around the wire afterwards. Or no, maybe I did sandwich the wire in there. I'm trying to figure that out. We'll just roll with it. Hmm, where do I want to put the wire? Because I know you can kind of see it up here. So I think I might want to make it a little shorter than that. Storm of Loyalty, thank you so much for subbing, welcome! Barda Gang, thank you for five months! Thank you, thank you! Will Red have heals? <laughs> I don't think so. Heals can be super hard to walk in. Okay, I'm just gonna bend this into shape. I think that's where I want to put it. Yeah, I think right there. Red and four inch heels would be so good. <laughs> We're gonna start on this one. Let me get my heat gun. Oh, Mr. Heat Gun. Look at this bad boy. Wow. Wow, look at that. Wow, drill master, yeah. I'm plugging it in. Plugged in. Okay. This is not a hair dryer. <laughs> no, not a hair dryer. It is uh, very, very much more intense than a hair dryer. So, if you were to use a hair dryer, you would be sitting here trying to heat up your warbler for a long ass time. So, I'm gonna try my best to heat these up evenly. Both sides, they're probably gonna fly around a little bit, but it's okay, I'm a trained professional. Do not be concerned. Uh, Death Nine, thank you for two months, and holy shit, Wild Cat, thank you for seven months, Fanta, thank you for five gifts and subbies, thank you, thank you, thank you, I really appreciate it, okay, okay. Oh. 
Oh, it's kind of showing up on camera. You can kind of see the texture change a little bit when the glue gets tacky. Okay, nice. You don't want that metal tip to touch anything. Sandwich things. This is called a warbler sandwich, by the way. I want to sandwich the wire. I'm trying to get it in the right spot. But we want the glue sides touching each other. And now it's starting to harden back up a little bit, so... I'm gonna reheat it. I'm gonna adjust where the wire is, too. You know what? I might actually just... Yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna reheat it again. The wire will get a little hot, though, so you gotta be careful. Because of the transfer of heat. There. Very nice. We got that little curve going on. Wires conducting heat. You know, sometimes you don't think about common sense things when uh, when you're working on stuff. <laughs> and then while this is still a little warm, we cut out the shape. starting to harden a little bit. We want it to be warm. When you cut this, and I'll, I'll tell you why. So, when you can kind of see, when you cut the warbler when it's cooled down and hardened, you'll, you'll kind of see where the two pieces start to separate. But if you have it heated up so it's moldable and then you cut it with your scissors, it kind of like seals it and pinches it together and the warbler will actually like mold to itself. So you don't see any seams or anything. So that's that's the ideal situation because we don't want the chance of these two pieces potentially popping open. Yeah, that's not fucking happening. But, <laughs> you know, just to be safe, we want nice clean edges on our stuff. And um, I always stand up my heat gun like this after I start using it and then put it back down because you don't want it to do this. Because then you'll you'll burn shit if it touches anything. Including yourself, so be careful, please. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Memento Nihility, thank you for four months. Spicy Mac, happy sub, baby, thank you for nine months. And Thim, the man, the man, thank you for five gift subs. Thank you, thank you so much. Comes from experience. Um, Not only that, but my dad taught me a lot about like safety with different kinds of tools and stuff. So he's good. Yeah, you definitely don't want to accidentally touch this. But you can see how pliable it becomes. He's like, it's like sagging in my hands. But you also want to be careful not to rip it when it gets like this. I think I heated it up a little too much. We'll probably snip those off later. 
You see how it's kind of... Oh, this way. It's kind of making her little... A little antenna. So we're gonna cut this last edge here. Sorry if it's a little off screen. Okay, we gotta heat that up a little more. Snip. Snip, snip. And then also, here, let me, let me zoom this in to show you guys kind of my thought process behind this. So, you see how like the little, the little tips of her, her antennas, they almost look, look like they're wavy. They almost look wavy, because you see the edges of them? They, they kind of look like they're wavy. So I'm gonna sculpt the warbla into a little wavy shape. I kind of, get up there. I kind of did that with this one. You see how it kind of has a little wave to it? I did it very messily, because this was just a test, but. I'm going to heat this up and trim it some more, and then sculpt it a little bit. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, that wire's hot. Come on, scissors, get in there. This is probably going to end up being the right one because you can kind of see the wire sticking out on this side. So we're going to make this one facing... Or no, this is the left one. Sorry. I can't fucking do math. <laughs> I was going to go this side because it's uh, it's smoother on that side. <laughs> but I think I'm, I'm hey, going to... Hey, Cinder and PPs. Yeah. Bit late, but made it to stream. Hiya! Hope you enjoy Weedkin Cinder. Thank you. Cinder six heart. I know. It's like we gotta get ready to leave in a couple days, huh? You guys. You guys are also going, huh? <laughs> thank you for all the videos, of six. And Lake King, thank you for two months. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, what am I gonna do? Cause what it looks like. It's like this was a perfect test, and I don't even fucking remember. It looks like I kind of molded it around the wire to round it out a little bit. So I think I'm gonna round this out some more. So that the whole thing looks round. But before I do that, it's like makeup. Although most of you probably aren't experienced in makeup, but pretty much <laughs> what you do is so you don't forget what you did on one side to make sure it's as symmetrical as possible. You wanna do the same steps like right back to back almost at the same time. So because we cut out and glued this piece of warble on this wire, before we get to the finishing kind of sculpting work, I'm gonna glue these together and and do the attachments on this one and our scraps we keep them even if they've already been heated up before here let me show you let me show you guys let me show you the magic warbler i'm gonna use this little scrap piece a little scrap piece heat gun <laughs> You hate it when your wings aren't even down. <laughs> oh wait, I just realized, is that, is the heat gun like too loud? Like, is it, is it annoying? So you, you heat up the warbler and you smush it all up, right? And then like, let's say you wanna, you wanna make like a little spike. You can just smush it and sculpt it almost like a clay. And yes, this is hot. I, I just don't have any uh, nerve endings in any of my fingers anymore. But just like that, you can make a little spike or like whatever, whatever kind of detail, like with filigrees and stuff. You can also sculpt out of this. 
But there's your little spike. It still has some Sharpie on it, but that can easily be painted over. Yeah. And smush it down to get a flat base. Boom. Spike. Spike. And then it's still cooling a little bit, but then once it cools... It's hard. I don't know if you can hear that. <laughs> I wish I could go to the Weebkin meeting you, but it would cost me more than $1,000. Yeah, cons and traveling I are really expensive. I hope there is one in Canada one of those days. Maybe! I've never been Do to Canada! Do not forget the most important goal. Have fun. Thank you! I appreciate that shot. Thank you for a thousand biddies! Thank you! The Weebkin! <laughs> I can't with you. Get out of here. <laughs> But yeah, um, be careful. Kind of get your hands dirty a little bit. I got some warbla essence on my hands. So just please always be careful. Practice safety. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to leave that one there for reference. And like last time, I'm going to bend my wire get the general shape when I stick it in there. Just like that. And then we heat them up. Use gloves. Listen. I'm all for safety. Okay? But it's a lot harder to work on things, especially when you have heat proof gloves because they're bulky and you can't really get, you can't like work, you know, do like the finer details. And then like, depending on like the texture of the gloves, sometimes you can actually press texture into the warbla. There is a material that's like, um, that picks up details uh, more, uh, I guess, accurately than warbla can uh, call, I think it's Thibra. I think it's Thibra. It's kind of like a, like a light gray color. Skill issue. What? Yeah, precision precision work is tricky in gloves. Yeah. Yeah, I got my craft hand, sorry. Sorry for the immersion break. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Honestly, if I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be doing like weekly nihilister crafting streams, my hands are gonna be looking like this. <laughs> there's no way I'm gonna be able to do like fine crafting. And if I did have nails, then there's a chance I could like nick the warbler and, and cause it to have like little stabby wounds. So we're gonna be careful. Be careful, careful, careful. Okay. Okay, let's do this. No touching! No touching! I burned my hand pretty bad using a soldering iron back in high school in my Ooh. electronics class. It hurt like hell, Cinder Six Cry. Yeah, I have I've used soldering irons before too. Those are no joke. I've been meaning to get a new soldering iron because we live in the age of electronics and electricity and I'm still using my dad's old butane one. <laughs> Cindy, your hands look perfect the way they are right now. Aww, made really nails sweet. look also good. Don't think you only look good with made nails, okay? Honestly, like thinking about the Nihilister crafting streams that I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm gonna be cosplaying Nihilister from Nikkei, the big two-headed red dragon that's like really fucking badass and hot. Yeah, we're gonna be doing that on stream. That's my, my long-term project stream goal. Um, but anyways, um, I was really nervous thinking about the longevity of those streams because I knew I wasn't gonna be able to have perfect nails like I, I usually do, because I try to keep the immersion with hand cam streams and I think it's fun to have like my accessories and stuff. But if it's every week, I'm not gonna be able to keep up with that, especially if I'm doing like precision crafting and I'm burning myself and cutting myself and shit. Um, so I'm kind of ripping off the band-aid with this stream. You know, it's just kind of like a chill crafting stream. I think my hands are absolutely disgusting just because of, you know, 
They just get icky. Look at the black spots. Look at icky. And I, I don't know. My nails are, I've never really been able to have long painted nails because my nails are so brittle. Like if they get too long, they just bend. Like they bend and then they break off. And I'm always really self-conscious about it. And <laughs> I always feel really pretty when I have the long nails but I can't have them naturally, which makes me sad. It's like Mama Wolf has the prettiest long nails and then I got blessed with the bad jeans. <laughs> you never forget the first time you burn your fingers on a hot glue a gun and the glue. I use silicone finger protectors now. Cinder oh, six yeah. sweat. Nah, I still go all in. <laughs> I go all in with that hot glue. Oh, I don't think I even talked about that. Um, these? These ears? So, um, these are actually made with three layers. The fur on the back, the velvet on the front. If you don't do anything, you can't break anything. It's similar with this Imho. Yeah, true, true. Uh, and then there's a middle layer that's actually craft foam, like two millimeter AVA foam, which is like craft foam sheets. Two millimeter, super thin, super, super thin. Um, and then everything's all hot glued together. I thought about sewing it, but I just didn't give the same look. Oh, I actually have a test. I totally forgot. So this was my first hot glue test. And you can kind of see the foam indent. Like you can see where the foam is. But that's just uh, how I glued the wire on the inside. The, the wire is glued to the foam. Um, but on this test, or the final version, I glued this to the back so you don't see this little bump, but it also kind of gets hidden by the black paint anyway. And then I tested out the blue airbrush paint. There's too much blue on this one, so I had to tone it down. But this was my test of sewing it with the, this crusty ass <laughs> fabric, but I wanted to test out how it would look sewn. And it looked, it looked good, but it's very poofy. Like you, you can barely even see the black line. You know what I mean? It's like poofed because the the sewn seam is really thick and you can see the stitches you can see them looks like leather <laughs> it's just a uh, velvet with way too much paint on it let me make myself bigger velvet with too much paint on it but yeah we learn i've had many trials and errors but that's kind of the nature of cosplay making anything in general you're gonna run into roadblocks and need to do things differently so, more blood stuck a little bit to that. Okay. Let's cut it out. Yum. You could use dye over paint. That's a whole other bucket of worms. It's so hard to get correct dye colors. I'd much rather go out and get like the exact color of airbrush paint instead of like trying to mix a, like a special color of dye. And then even if the test comes out right, sometimes the final dip is never the same way as the test goes. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> it's really hard. So instead of like gradient dip dyeing this, I just airbrushed it. Like it looks, it looks good. It looks good. And most of using, like if you really look at her ears, most of it, okay, this is also way brighter than it is in person. I will just say, this is making it look so neon orange, but it's like a nice burnt orange. And it, it, like most of her ear is orange. Like it's really just the, the tips on the outside that are yellow and then it kind of fades in. So yeah, my go-to material, uh, I guess like EVA foam, it's the most versatile. You can make almost anything on EVA foam. But I will say, my guilty pleasure for crafting, this is so odd and specific, but specifically hand sewing fur, like fake fur, hand sewing fur together, my favorite thing. It's so therapeutic. Like one time, I cosplayed Ari from League of Legends. She's a very popular character, but if you don't know, she's a nine-tailed fox. So she's got nine tails and I decided to make each of my tails five feet in length 
and I hand sewed all the way around all nine tails. So when you think about it, there's two sides of the tail, right? Because there's two halves, okay? So it's five feet up this way sewing it, and then five feet back down, and then you get the whole tail sewn. Okay? That's a lot of hand sewing. <laughs> Could I have used a sewing machine? Yes. Did I want to? No. Did I also give myself a deadline of 20 days to, to get this done for a convention? Yes. Did I still end up hand sewing all the tails? Yes. <laughs> 90 feet. Yeah. 90 feet of hand sewing. <laughs> yeah, 20 days. I was cracked. Like when I was doing cosplay most of my time, I went hard. Listen, I'm just really passionate about this hobby. Do I hate it? And do I want to pull out all my hair sometimes when I'm working on something? Yes. But that's okay. Because most crafters feel that way. Okay, these scissors are actual garbo. These are like my... my like gross everything. We just everything thinking scissors. while looking at the picture of Yuzu's head, but could the little jewel be made with some clear epoxy and some food coloring Cindersix Pyro, huh? Honestly? So, the thing with cosplay is that you can interpret things in so many different ways. Like, instead of making these ears fluffy, you could also just make them out of, you know, just flat material too, instead of like having this extra weight to it. Totally okay also. Same thing goes with uh, the jewelry. The jewelry looks like it's very simple in shape, but because I'm an extra girly, pretend I've got my nails, um, I would actually go get like jewelry, like beads and shit, and I would bead an entire like headdress. That's what I would do. Maybe I'd get like a nice dainty chain and then like, get some like jump rings like o-rings and like link them all together that's probably what i do i find like a nice gold teardrop gem like a nice little blue gem and then i'd like link them together you know like making jewelry yeah that's what i'd do if i had the time to i would <laughs> i'd make a nice and pretty also, Bao's like little, um, like a wire crown on her new model would also be so much fun to make. Cause you could do that like a wire sculpture. <laughs> I just love thinking about how to make stuff and then making it. You're gonna be doing crafting streams too? Let's go! Yo, share your crafts in the server. If it's cosplay, put it in the cosplay channel. If it's just like art, like art crafts, like pixel beads, put it in the art channel. Hell yeah. I love that. When people say they wanna start crafting or if they end up crafting like while I'm crafting on stream, it makes me so happy. I just love sharing this hobby with other people. I get so excited. I also really like offering uh, like crafting and cosplay advice to people who, who want to ask for it. I think this one might be a little taller. Yeah. Oh, maybe not. Mm, it'll be close. It'll be close. Oh, I think I'm, I'm behind. Hold on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Davi, welcome. Thank you for subbing. Archcraft, thank you for four months. Thank you, thank you. T1G, thank you for 13 months. Delta, thank you for the tier two. Thank you for 14 months. Thank you, thank you. Want to get back into cosplaying? What would you cosplay? Dream cosplays. If you had... Unlimited resources and the ability. Dream cosplay, go. 
Go. Who would you want to embody? Favorite characters. Yo, a Gundam? <laughs> God damn. Oh, Gerald. Ooh. Dang, look at you guys. Not the Risley. <laughs> Are you capping? Are you for real? <laughs> You guys have good cosplay taste. Damn. Yo, guts. Not the Snorlax. <laughs> Ooh, Jinbei. Oh, that'll be fun. With like the webbed fingers. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. I see you, chat. I see you. Oh my goodness, I've actually seen Iron Man cosplayers with like the mask that has like the mechanism to like open it and shit. Crazy. It's like screen accurate. Hellfire, thank you for the videos. Why y'all? Thank you for the gift sub. Thank you. Why guy, happy sub baby, thank you for nine months. Haven't thought about a crunchy. Honestly, it's not even about like, I, I know a lot of people, and I've said this before, and a lot of people say, oh, I'd love to cosplay, you know, X character, but, but I don't look like them, but, but I'm not tall enough, but, but I, I'm, I'm too big, but I, I, I don't have the correct whatever. That shit don't matter. Just do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Honestly, like, I've seen people cosplay like Buff Misty from Pokemon. And the convention fucking loves that shit. Like, you can get creative with it and make it your own. And then it's like even more unique than just like the average, you know, one to one cosplayer. Right? Right? Strong agree. <laughs> cosplay Pyme on your 6'4? Exactly! <laughs> Let's go! Honestly, if it's a character that makes you happy and you will also be happy portraying that character, then go for it. This is just really hot. Yum. Mm. Come on. It's hard to cut around curves. Here we go. is always so fucking hard. I think that's the close I'm gonna fucking get. <laughs> yeah. I think some of this warbler came off, so I'm gonna take one of my handy dandy scrap pieces. I think I accidentally ripped some of that off. But the cool thing about Warbla is so that you can just mash it all together. Wub, 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 wub. like that. Jenny! Thank you so much for 10 gift subs! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! I really appreciate that. So 
now I'm just gonna heat up the bottom here and I'm going to wrap it around the wire so instead of like two halves with the warbler seam I'm gonna smush that all in there so it really really conforms to the shape of the wire and it makes that nice little and narrow Speaking of using my print for her to sign at Weebcon just arrived today two days <gasps> before I leave Let's go! Don't worry though I have had my poster for you to sign for months Oh hell yeah! Spoiler alert, it is from you Market. Let's go! Thank you so much for supporting us and getting our merch I appreciate it Okay Gonna have to do a little more on that so, you might be thinking, but Cinder, you may not be thinking this, but, you know, and just in case, we have, <laughs> we have these little wire pegs. How do you attach them? You just go. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> do not do that. So, I've got a bunch of these. Hair clips. Let me take them out. I got like a pack of 12 of these. No, Yuzu! Not the lobotomy! <laughs> Not you too! <laughs> so I got a bunch of these little hair clips. And like what we do with my test piece, this is just more warbler. This is very messy. Okay, I'm gonna make it look a little, a little prettier. Um, but it's just warbler sandwiched between this clip and because... Because the warblet is kind of going through the holes of this clip here, it's connecting to itself and, and grabbing on. I, can't, I don't think, even think I can pull this off the plastic. Warblet sticks to fucking everything. So yeah. Be careful, because if you try to stick it to something, it might not come off easily. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take like an extra scrap piece. That's why we're saving all our scraps because that's something we can use it for. And then just kind of smush it onto these. Yeah. So I'm gonna keep these off to the side for access later. Molten plastic is super sticky, especially this stuff. It's meant to stick to itself. Since you asked to share, hmm. I'm actually crafting with you at the moment. Let's go! If you remember the big bead art I did for you, I oh finished goodness, one yeah. for uni and have one for <gasps> Diariku in work. Let's go! Posted two photos in the art alley if you want to take a peek, Cinder Six Heart. Oh, hell yeah! Let's go! Oh, nay! Thank you for the sub! Welcome! And Icarus! Thank you, thank you! Welcome! Thank you so much for subbing! Mush, mush, mush. And then, because we're also probably not gonna want this to just stick straight up, I think what I'm gonna do, I left enough wire. I mean, this is like a scrap piece of wire that I just had. I'm gonna bend this back a little. Like that. So that way, it's able to kind of stick out a little bit past this clip. I'm gonna add some warbler right here. So that way it'll stand up. Might be a little bit, kind of looks a little tall. How tall did I make this one? Okay, I bent it in a little bit more. So I bent it with the warbler. Of course it's super thick. because the pattern I made ends right where the art ends. And it's hard to show dimension when you're making a pattern. <laughs> How good I am. I've been doing this for 10 years. So, lots of practice, that's for sure.
So it's a little more difficult to bend the wire with the warbla on it because warbla is super stiff, but we kind of want it to have a bit of a curve to it. So that way it's not sticking up straight because it might look a little, might look a little silly just sticking up straight. So we want it to have a little bit of a, a swoosh. Swoosh! Hey, Bob! What's up? Hello! <laughs> Thank you! Thank you so much! Um, the thing with, um, heating it up, uh, is that the wire also gets hot. And arguably the wire <laughs> gets hotter than the warbler. <laughs> buff, wait, 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 you gotta see this. You gotta see this buff. Look at her ears! Ears, the fluffy little moth ears. <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> How hard is it usually to fly or take your cosplay to cons? That entirely depends. It's actually a really great question. Um, so, if you know you're gonna be cosplaying a certain thing to a specific convention, or if you know that you're gonna want to be traveling with this cosplay, period, you want to build it around your luggage space. <laughs> so what that means is that you take, you know, your biggest suitcase that you have and measure it and make sure all your pieces can fit inside of that. So let's say for an example, you're building like a big sword or like a staff or something and the full length won't be able to fit inside your suitcase. But if you find little points uh, where you can hide attachments, I would recommend making it detachable so that way you can kind of put it in pieces and have all the pieces fit and make sure your biggest pieces fit in your suitcase. Um, and then like if you have big armor pieces, it's really easy to pack armor uh, depending on like what pieces you make. Like for example, let's say you have bracers, arm armor, and like you have like leg armor, like shin armor, right? Because your shins are usually bigger than your arms, you can take, I don't know, armor is usually shaped like, I don't know, I'm gonna use this as an example. So it usually has a curve, right? To fit on top of your arm. Yeah, it's got like a little, little curvy curve. But because the curve of your forearm is typically smaller than the curve of your shin, you can actually just like stack it inside each other depending on how thick it is. So it's kind of like uh, like the, uh, you know, nesting dolls, like the matryoshka. It's kind of like that. So if you use that logic and you just like fit other things inside of other stuff, then you'll end up with a lot more room. Yeah, semi-conical, exactly. Mm -hmm. Beast Marrow, welcome! Thank you so much for subbing! Mr. Raku, thank you for four months! Thank you, thank you! What got me into cosplay? Oh, that's a really good question. So... Y'all know my favorite video game is Okami. It also has a very special place in my heart because that is what got me into cosplay. <laughs> so, I was big into art and like drawing. And back in the day, when I was playing Okami, I liked, I, I was drawing like all the brush gods, like all the different brush gods and the bosses and stuff and Amaterasu and Shiranui. And one day when I was looking up references, I came across this image of a cosplayer. There were two cosplayers. One was cosplaying Ami and the other one was cosplaying Kushi. The sake girl, the sake brewer, and it, that's where it like clicked for me. I was like, wait a minute, this isn't Halloween, but like, why why not dress up as our favorite video game characters? So that's what happened. I didn't I didn't pick Okami because Okami is like my dream cosplay. Amaterasu, dream. I've had big ideas for that one for a while. But I sort of, it, it like clicked for me, you know, I was like, what is this? And then I was doing more research and oh my goodness, buff. I literally have this idea of making like, like a stylized altered kimono for Ami, but then also having like the ears and the tail and stuff. But because, so when, when Amaterasu runs, she leaves behind a trail of flowers and I think like a train with flowers like embroidered on it or something would be so freaking cute. <laughs> so I want to do that really bad. Kind of like a like a kimono inspired dress, like a gown. 
Right? <laughs> I would freaking love to do that. Someday, someday for sure. Okay, I think if I have the bend like that, I just don't want them to be too tall. My test. Oh my goodness. This has seen better days. Okay. It's broken. I broke it. I was doing a durability test and it did pass. <laughs> Um, with the warbler is that because the texture can be kind of rough, especially when you're like m like mashing it together. What I plan to do to smooth it out is to cover it with wood filler. Literally the dream. Wood filler on warbler works so freaking well. So you pretty much just cover it with wood filler and then you sand it. And it sands like a dream. And you get it nice and smooth. It's so nice. Okay, I think I gotta smush it this way a little more. Am I gonna color them? That's a good question. I won't be able to do that on stream because, so like these colors are pretty much the same colors as uh, the antennas with the blues and the oranges and yellows. So I'm just gonna airbrush them so that the colors kind of match, at least as best as I can. I might need to do a dark base because the base of those were darker. So I might need to use like a, a darker primer. Where do I My learn? Dream <laughs> Honestly, I just experiment. From Dark Souls 3. He is on the cover of the game. Oh. I based my profile art based off of his art. He is a difficult boss fight, so wearing his armor almost represents achieving challenging but rewarding accomplishments. Yeah, it's like uh, like Monster Hunter. You kill the boss and you just fucking wear its skin. I've never played Monster Hunter, but I I saw a cosplay of it and it made me also want to cosplay that and like make the same thing. Y'all are never gonna guess who it is. Although you actually might not. Um, so there's this cosplayer who goes by Kamui Cosplay and she made a uh, Ner Gigante armor with claws, like the claw weapons. Which is so me, fucking big ass claws, just like the freaking jagged, like organic looking armor. It's so freaking good. Okay, I'm trying to work in little pieces so that way I don't do too much and then mess it up. Yeah, she did Xenogre and um, I think she did one more. I think she did one more. But definitely Nergi Gante. She really brought that to life. Holy. Yay, yours are. Kieran armor. <laughs> when the armor become more powerful when there's less clothing. Kill a kill logic. Yeah, that's looking better. I'm starting to get the entire wire fully rounded out because like this one is more square but we want a more organic round natural antenna looking shape how's it looking 
Now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other one. It's true though. <laughs> Crafting project, I tried one way and it didn't work out. Um, absolutely. <laughs> um, there was a lot of instances. Some sometimes, like when you go to cosplay a character that nobody else has ever cosplayed before, there's a lot of trial and error. But if you can find something that somebody else has, you know, documented in the past, you can kind of take their techniques because it's worked for them. But a lot of the stuff I've made has been from niche things. <laughs> very, very niche. So I've kind of had to figure out a lot on my own. But my dad has been a big help. Like if I need a harness for wings or something, he's like, yeah. There's actually, I think I might have told the story before. But repurposing old materials into stuff for cosplay is very nice. It's good to be resourceful. Um, there is this one time where... Uh, I was making a pair of wings and I didn't know how to make a harness. It was my first pair of wings. I was still a baby cosplayer. It was like my second year cosplaying. And my dad was like, hmm, I've got some old ceiling fan blades that are made out of wood. Let's just use those. So he bolted together ceiling fan blades, wooden ceiling fan blades. And that was, that was the understructure support of my wings. Instead of going out and buying like a, you know, block of wood to use as a support. He's like, yeah, I got some old wings, some old, some old fan blades in the garage. You gonna use those? <laughs> it's so funny because my dad wasn't always like super excited about me being a cosplayer. Because he always saw how stressed out I got, especially right before a convention with the con crunch. And he's like, it's a waste of money, like, you know. Like, you don't even seem happy doing it. You seem always stressed and, and all this stuff. But then when I'd ask him to help me, he'd always be happy to help me. And now, um, nowadays, uh, since then, he's gotten into photography. So now whenever I make something new or like cosplay something new or tell him I'm going to be cosplaying, he's like, when are we doing a photo shoot? <laughs> photo shoot. I want to do photo shoot, please. Yeah, he's super cool. Oh. Stay straight. Too much heat. Oh, it's getting squished into the... There we go. This one's cooperating much easier than the first one. Yeah, photo shoot. I did a bunch of cosplay photo shoots with my dad. He's pretty good at taking pictures, I will say so. Common bubble of W. <laughs> so true. Okay, making sure I'm bending this right. <laughs> uh, it's very sturdy, which is good. We don't want these going anywhere. Need them back on stream. <laughs> and the bend to be sharper here. More bend! Cinder, what the best material for armor Cinder 6 Pyro Pop? My opinion, EVA foam. It comes in different thicknesses. So you can get like 10 millimeter, 8 millimeter, 6 millimeter, 4 millimeter. Like, like they all come in different thicknesses. And depending on the piece of armor you want to make, uh, kind of determines how thick you want it to be. So, like, for example, if you were to make... I don't know. Like, hand armor. Like, around your fingers. 
You don't want that to be too thick because you still want to be able to move your hands and stuff, right? But if you're making, say, like a breastplate that, that needs more structure to it, then you probably want to use a thicker material. That makes sense. Hopefully it does. Yeah, or like bracers. A little bit, it depends on the kind of bracer. And then if you want to do more like intricate detail work, you probably want to use thinner foam. Wub, 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 wub. Putting the bends in these. Not to be confused with the underwater bends. <laughs> we don't want those bends. We don't want the bends. We just want a bend. <laughs> Adam! Thank you for the big tip! Thank you! Thank you, 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 thank you! I really appreciate that. Holy shit, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Yeah, the Benz is bad. Thank so sweet. So sweet. Thank you. A bit more of a bend. House fund. <laughs> I'm trying to get this as symmetric as I can because if I get the bend angle wrong, then they might look two different heights. <laughs> we don't want to use it to have lopsided antenna. Why is the top of user's head on the screen? Do you see it? Did you see it? What about now? Do you see it now? What about now? <laughs> ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah, these are gonna be for her. I'm giving them to her as a wee at, at WeebCon as a gift. Looks like the picture. <laughs> I hope so. Hold on, let me stand these up like this. I'm a perfectionist, I'm sorry. Well, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. But, I want to try putting the wave in here. This one already kind of has a wave just because I <laughs> heated it up a little too much and then just kept the wave there. So it looks like this side of her antenna is flat, like straight. And then the outer edge has like a bit of a wave to it. So I'm going to heat this up. <clears throat> Just a little bit. Okay, that wasn't quite enough. I just I just don't want it to be too too soft. I don't want to jack it up. So another thing you can do. Probably gonna have to do this off off the cam. Maybe I can squeeze it in. So something else you can do. I don't want it to be directly under the webcam though. Something else you can do because the heat guns stand up like this super conveniently. You can switch it on and then just hold whatever you have to sculpt like this over it. I'm blocking my camera, but you got you got the idea. So I'm gonna do that just to get like a little bit of heat. Wow. 
packs with Cinder. I want this to stay straight. Gun hacks. You silly. No tags. No tags. Anything I'm afraid of? Um, being lost, being alone, the dark. That's about it. I'm already subscribed to Cinder, <laughs> but did you pay your Cinder tax? No tax. <gasps> oh, that looks kind of cute. Ooh. I think I'm doing it. Slowly but surely. See how it has like a bit of a wave? A little buggy antenna wave? Look at that! Yeah, that's how I interpret for antennas. I think I just gotta fix the bottom a little bit. Bye, your mark! Thank you for 10 get that sub! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you so much! <gasps> and you guys started a hype train! Thank you! Thank you! <gasps> thank you, Storm of Loyalty! I appreciate that! Is there arts and crafts tag? I feel like I'm, it's like a mostly like a chatting stream, really. <laughs> Just with me doing crafts in the background. Oh, there's a hair stuck to me. That's from Yuzu. She's a little hairy. <laughs> At least uh, with this craft. Just like a little bit. Is there the queue for sender tax? No! <laughs> there is no tax! <laughs> Holy shit, I assume guys, you're thank you for using the a heat gun and not your ear flames because they would melt it instantly. Yes. Also, sender tax. <laughs> Paco! Holy shit, thank you for 20 get the subs! Thank you! Thank you, thank you so much! Holy shit! There, I think that's just like enough of a subtle little, like, little mothy wave. Maybe I'll do one more at the bottom. Up close look at my phalanges. There, make it a little wavy. <gasps> Bye! <laughs> Bye! <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid! Hi, raiders! Welcome, welcome! Nice to meet you. My name is Cinder. I'm the Hellhound VTuber. Hello! Today, we are currently making uh, little cosplay accessories for Yuzu. 
Well, I hope you guys had a great stream. Thank you so much again for the raid. And raiders, I hope you have a good time here if you plan on sticking around. But if you had a plan on heading out, I hope you have a great day. Thank you for stopping in and saying hi. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's a secret. Please no leakers to Yuzu. Uh, she may have found out already, but um, I'm going to be gifting to the, the gifting these to her at WeebCon. Uh, we're we're going to be there in person. I'll be there in person. Doing meet and greets and panels and stuff. And I wanted to give her some, some ears of her. Oh, the ears. Ears for the Raiders, the ears that I've been making. And right now we're currently working on her little antennas out of Warbla. So there's one and I'm just adding like a little wave because I don't know, to me, let me make this bigger. To me, it looks like there's like a bit of a wave like in her, her, her little antenna. Does it look like that to anybody else? I can't help but feel like there's a little bit of a wavy wave. Yeah, I made I the ears. Think you're um, just a horny little boy. Um, <laughs> wait, wait. Okay. <laughs> uh, actually, I've been a cosplayer for ten years, and I used to compete professionally on the master level. So I, I've done a lot of this stuff. <laughs> a lot. Just kind of. Uh, Refining this little point because it started to lose its shape a little bit. Yeah, little wavy wave. Little moth antenna. I don't know. Does it look crooked? Does it look intentionally wavy or does it look crooked wavy? This is literally my um my thought process when I make stuff. <laughs> Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. I can take the constructive criticism. Always happy to give my send attacks. Also, I'm going to be making a Darth Revan mask. Ooh. Hopefully it goes well. Good luck with that. Hell yeah. Joe's like, thank you for 21 months. Big brain boy, thank you for 10 months. Thank you, thank you. Looks like Greta Moss head wavy, really? Really? Aww. You guys are so sweet to me. Man, I was so nervous for this stream because I couldn't get my nails done today. Y'all are hyping me up. <laughs> so. Two millimeter foam sandwich between Warbler would be too thick. Oh, for, for the antennas you mean? I personally think so because uh, just like what, how my brain sees this, uh, I see it as really, really thin. But I also wanted to make it out of something really sturdy. So I'm using two layers of Warbla. Mm -hmm. But yeah, the Craft Foam Warbla sandwich is a really common cosplay method. Yeah, it's very sturdy. Nice little thin antennae. Little thin. Kindred, welcome. Thank you so much for subbing. Thank you, thank you. We're always going to be your hype. Crew Cinder Six Pyro, Wicked Cinder Six Pyro, and I really Let's appreciate go, Cinder that. Six Heart. <laughs> mm, it's hard to tell, but but these ears were uh, two layers of fabric with foam in the middle, so it has a little bit of thickness. It's hard to see with the fucking fluffy fur. <laughs> it's hard to see. You can kind of tell, and this is my test piece. This is my test ear, and so you can kind of see the indentation of the foam. Because the foam has to be, uh, like, scaled a little bit smaller or else you'll be able to see the foam between the little edges here. But to avoid that, I just glued the fabrics right to each other because the foam is actually right here. So it doesn't look like it's too thick. Yeah. Oh yeah. Test pieces, especially with like all the airbrushing and trial and error and, and like shaving down the fur. This, this was a long ass fur before I shaved it down. <laughs> and that's also why I wasn't able to really stream much of the, this build process because there was a lot of airbrushing and fur shaving involved, especially like trial and error back and forth, airbrushing, trying different colors of airbrush paint. So um, I, I can't really do that with all my stream setup <laughs> around here. 
So... Now that we pretty much refined this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this part of the antenna a little more rounded. And then I think we can call this one good. And then we will be able to attach it to our little hair clip. And then prime it. Ah, no, I'm just making her, her little uh, ears and antennas. Dr. Kitty Kitty, thank you for seven months. Thank you. Um, I don't know if Buff does cosplay. I don't think so. I don't think I've ever seen her cosplay. But she might. <laughs> Me low key getting all my friends into cosplay? No way. <laughs> you have a lot of fur. <laughs> You'd sweat. <laughs> True, you can stick to all the really rad outfits that, that show off your arms. Mm hmm. <laughs> Although, you know what that kind of reminds me of? So there's this one convention. I've always wanted to go to this con, but I just haven't had the chance to. And I'm also a little scared to go because I feel like I have this perfect picture of what it's like in my head. And then when I go to experience it, I feel like it's going to be a letdown. Um, it's called Colossal Con. It's in Ohio, <laughs> down in Bow, Ohio. But it's pretty much titled as like the water park con because the resort that Colossal Con is at has like this huge outdoor water park. And it's pretty much like the beach episode cosplayers paradise so everybody's just cosplaying like swimsuit versions of all these different characters and it's the cutest freaking thing ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> so i i really 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 want to want to go there and make it there someday <laughs> it would be really fun i don't know what i'd cosplay though hello music hello Oh, it was just swishing songs. <laughs> that took a while. <laughs> Yay. Best thing in Ohio? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> a little more. David Clive, thank you for the prime sub. Welcome. Cosplay my summer outfit. <gasps> that might be really cute. Yeah, the Kalahari Resort. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, um... So... I've been wanting to play Shadow of the Colossus. And the reason why I've been wanting to play it is because there was a group of cosplay girls who went to Colossal Con all dressed as, like, cute anime babes of all the colossi. And they were so fucking cute. And I was like, oh my god. I love big monsters. <laughs> I do know how to solder, yeah. But uh, the soldering iron I use is my dad's and he has like an old butane one, so it's a real pain in the ass. Cause it's butane and not just electric. <laughs> but yeah, I've done LED stuff before. Yay! Thank you guys so much for the hype train! Level 8! Let's go! Thank you, thank you! Alright, that's looking solid! Look at that antenna! Yay! <laughs> cool to see us all cosplay each other. <gasps> Actually, I don't I don't know which VTuber I'd want to cosplay. That's something I never really thought of, cosplaying a VTuber. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe like one of my inspos. Probably Cinder. <laughs> I meant besides me, you freaking dummy. <laughs> Yeah, I cosplayed my 1.0 outfit uh, at Offkai last year. And then I also brought it to TwitchCon in Vegas. I think it has a bit of a sharper curve. Too sharp. Bad. 
Yeah, that looks good! Although maybe it's more like that. Maybe I do need a sharper curve. <laughs> Rust one and spoon, thank you for nine months! Happy sub, baby! Clinkables, thank you for five months! Thank you! An alternate reality myself? <gasps> so, I actually have kind of like a closet cosplay of Tashi. Closet cosplay means cosplaying a character with just like items from your closet. Like it doesn't have to be like one-to-one -one accurate, but just like enough to get the idea. I have done that before. <laughs> okay, but hear me out. Huh. Three cosplay. Huh? Three cosplay. What is that? What is that? <laughs> We're making Yuzu and Tanas. Yeah. Yeah. I'm supposed to say Tashi? What the heck? Brian, you don't know how to say my name my, my other name? <laughs> my old account name? <laughs> what about Philly and Cosplay XD? Mm. <laughs> I feel like if I, if I were to ever cosplay uh, a VTuber other than myself, it might be mm, probably fruit or Cali. Yeah. Because I feel like Fruit's horns would be really cool. And... Like, all her accessories and stuff. Like, depending on the outfit I'd pick. And Callie is just so fucking badass. With, like, all the spikes and the crown and... The scythe. The scythe. There's actually, um, an outfit... I, I talked about this when I debuted my demon model because a lot of like the the whole idea of that concept of the demon model came about because uh, Fruit posted a sketch of a model design that she never ended up using or, or like creating into a model and it was like of this like lich like commander like badass armory like super dark and spooky form and I was like oh my god <laughs> Like an ultimate more evil form would be so freaking cool. I think it'd be cool to cosplay that one even. <laughs> no, not a new sub goal. Just just like a far off like what if kind of idea. I'm gonna set that one aside. That one's good. So I'm pretty much gonna do the same thing with this one. Heat it up. I'm so sorry you can't see this. You guys, we just had a sub goal and you hit it, so... <laughs> Let me do that. Let me do that real quick. <laughs> We're vlogging WeebCon! Void Marshall, thank you for five months! And Chesterfield, thank you for the gift sub! Thank you! Nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was not a sub goal. <laughs> hey. No hate. Don't be hating on my goals. Excuse me. And Target Gucci, thank you for the tier two, Risa. Thank you for six months. Thank you. Hear me out. Hmm. 
The Hellhound cosplays as the Silver Sakura Wolf. <laughs> wolf being a wolf? I don't know. I like to cosplay characters I have like a like a stronger connection to. Cause the thing with like cosplaying Hi, a character just Tuning to cosplay. In during another work break, Cinder Six Heart. Hi, welcome. Cause if you if you cosplay a character like that your heart's not really into, then you're never motivated to like wear it or work on it. If that makes sense. Cause oftentimes, especially when you're making something from scratch. You're, you're kind of making a really long time commitment <laughs> to something like that. <laughs> so I would definitely recommend, like just because it looks cool, is it a character that you you really like and are attached to? Cause that's what keeps you going. <laughs> yeah, the passion, exactly. And like Fruit and Callie specifically are what inspired me the most to be a VTuber. So they've got special meaning. Fire Scorpion! Thank you for the tier 3! Thank you so much! Thank you for 18 months! Thank you, thank you! Yeah, yeah! So like... I don't know, if I were to... I would never accept a commission, but if I were to do commissions, it would be really hard for me to get in the, like, the mindset and the drive to work on something that like maybe I'm not as passionate about as somebody else, if that makes sense. You know. If it's like, I don't know, like a, like a Sailor Moon character, you know? I, I didn't really watch Sailor Moon. So I don't have that kind of attachment and connection that a lot of other people do growing up watching that show. Yeah. Things I'm passionate about? Uh, my friends. <laughs> um, uh, Okami and... I mean, I really like the Zelda series, and a lot of other games. I've cosplayed a lot of niche stuff because I just think it's really cool. Um, what other things would I cosplay from? Black Rock Shooter. Um, yeah, that's another one of my dream cosplays. <laughs> yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I'd, I'd, I'd probably want to cosplay like Midna, like her human form, or hear me out, Zant. <laughs> I would fucking love that. <laughs> Lizzie Quinn, thank you for four months. Thank you. Meat Puppet, thank you for ten months. Divine Meow, thank you so much for subbing. Welcome, welcome. Ain't no way y'all are spoiling right now. Ban! Ban them all! Ban them all! Ban all the spoilers! Ban! Ban them! Ban! 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 Bonk! 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 Thank you. Ah, peace. <laughs> peace at last. <laughs> Kyojo, thank you for six months. GGA, thank you for the sub. Welcome. Sergeant Elmer, thank you for four months. Thank you, thank you. Okay. So, I want to put the waves. Okay, somebody needs to ban the fussy baby too. <laughs> Who's banned on the fussy baby? Get her out of here. Good vibes only. Good vibes only. quiet. Wait a minute. Hello? Erm... Um, no way! No way! Oh, 
Oh sevens. Oh sevens. It's, it's, it's been real. It's been real, Philly, and we've had a good run. But you know what? Some things are just not meant to be. Like that message you sent in my chat. <laughs> Is she okay? She hasn't called me. I don't know. She's probably salty. Okay, but like... Can we unban her? Is she really banned? Can we un... <laughs> I made her lose money?! She's back. She's back. We're probably gonna have to re-VIP her. <laughs> she lost a hundred dollars. Aneurysm and one hundred dollars. <laughs> oh wait, I kind of wanted to see her on ban request. That would have been funny. That would have been really fucking funny. <laughs> hey, now what's up? showed up and then you showed up and then I kept going with the joke. Was this actually a thing you were trying to do? No fucking way. Alright, ban her again. Now we get to read her own band request. Anyway, we're gonna get back to working on Yuzu. <laughs> Yuzu's antennas. Yay! <laughs> She's such a goofy goober. <laughs> Fuzzy baby jail. I don't know, she said something about like, I don't know. She made some kind of like potty humor joke, I think. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what is? I don't. I don't even know what she said. She said something like stupid. <laughs> it was very much. She's saying this in my chat for the bit, and so I thought it would be funny to get her back, but. I, I don't know. I, I, I've been busy streaming. I don't have her stream up. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, the OK band bit. Because everybody in here was like spoiling that she was coming. So I thought it was like a raid or something. And I get upset when, when my community spoils my raid. So I thought it was like raid spoilers. So I was like, ban them. Ban the spoilers. And then she shows up and I was like, OK, ban her too. <laughs> ban her too. <laughs> <clears throat> they look pretty even. Okay, we're gonna put the, the waves in these. The wavy wibbly waves. Which way do they go? Why do I act like a wolf? Oh it's because I am one. <laughs> Time for me to go back to work. Bye bye, Cinder Six Wave. Take care. Good luck at work. Lost in the library. Thank you for six months. I can't stop listening to Plankton's Plan Z. Thanks to you. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Crusty Crab's going down. I dropped his heat beat. Mad busy Plansy's going out at their feet. Got a lot of shit to say about the chum bucket. Let's see who's laughing last when I turn them into holographic meat. You better run, better run, better run. Just one more look at helmet and you're done. Turn your friends and your family into chum. The secret formula will be mine soon enough. 
You'll all see, you'll all see, you'll all see. <laughs> Hi, you're welcome. <laughs> Nobody that ever matters! That's false! But thank you for the time get the subbies! Thank you! Thank you, thank you so much! <laughs> okay, we're getting these waves as symmetrical as possible. I know, my face is always look weird because my hand blocks my tracking <laughs> when I when I hold it over here. Oh. Well that's looking really symmetrical. It's hard to see, but like it's looking really symmetrical right now. <laughs> Why is Philly in band? You should ask her. <laughs> oh shit, wait, she's calling me. Sing on, hello! Hi! Oh! Oh, hey. Hey, hey, how's it going? It's going pretty good. I'm That's having a good stream from today. The neighborhood Spider Girl here today, and I was just, you know, hanging out, so like. Oh, is that that thing I killed on my wall? I. Do you know who I am? Felian? I made this effing company. I have been here slaving my entire life. 24 hours a day, 16 days a month. You understand me? I've been doing my absolute no. best for the sake of this effing company, and you banned me. I mean, no. Well, what are you gonna do about it? Say no backwards. On. My nuts. Your face. Are you trying to get unbanned right now? Yep. You're not really helping your case. <laughs> Well, guess what? I'm not a Minecrafter, so I got no catch to case. Let me tell you something. I have a very special message that I wrote just from my heart. Oh, okay. And if you like it, you can unban me right now. Sounds good. You cost me $100, but I'll forgive you. <laughs> Here's my message to you. Yeah. Cinder, during sex, I like to think about Slaughtering innocent civilians. Please unban me. <sighs> okay, mods. Unban Fillion. Really? Yep, do really? it. Really? Oh, there it goes. Yeah, we're back! <laughs> Let's go! Shut up, Fillion. You okay, banner again! Banner again! Banner again! Okay, banner again! 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 Why are you edging me? Why are you edging me? <laughs> I hung up! She's doing okay. Hope she's good. I'm 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 great. <laughs> wow, wow, fuzzy baby. So <laughs> true, so true. <laughs> uh, nobody, thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you, thank oh. you. Oh, hello, Brian. You good? She is really fun to mess with. She's just a silly, silly, goofy little goober. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, we can, we can, we can keep her unbanned now. We can, wait, we can keep her unbanned. That's okay. 
I feel bad the bit's over. I love Fillion. <laughs> she hasn't spoken! <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> okay, uh, I need to straighten this out a little bit. <laughs> the bit was worth it. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Fiery Jinx, thank you for six months. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Based. <laughs> fruit snacks. I actually also really love fruit snacks. We can have like a fruit snack party. Just cleaning. Red, you're so, you're so mean for that. You're so mean! <laughs> Welches or Mots? I don't know. Fruit snack, fruit snack. I'm not picky. I just like... Fruity yum yum. That looks pretty good! Pretty symmetric. It's hard to see from the angle you're at, but... Is it symmetry? She is unbanned! Calm down! She's banned again? I didn't request that. Mods? You okay? <laughs> Crunch. <laughs> okay, this is out of my control at this point. This is out of my control. <laughs> Pretty sure mods are watching both streams. <laughs> she just came back in and got banned a third time with Kek. <laughs> So funny, holy shit. I love it. Okay, it looks good from the side, but from the front? It is a little jank. Just like the tiniest bit jank. Oh, I know why. Music's good! We're listening to the Stream Jams EDM playlist. If you were curious. <laughs> I'm not the one banning her! I swear! I'm not the one trolling anymore! I'm just- I'm just working on this thing! I'm crafting! <laughs> okay, she said she's unbanned. Not everybody asking why uses up there. I wonder I wonder what I'm doing on stream today. <laughs> I 
If she wasn't up there, everybody would be like, What are you making? What are you doing? Show boobs. <laughs> Not wrong. <laughs> I just know the internet so well. Right, Council? You so right? Okay, why is this not looking right? Symmetry is the hardest fucking thing. Slowly making progress? Question mark? Something doesn't look right! Why? I'm connecting them with hair clips. show you. Hold on. These. Cosplay work going good. So good. So good. So good. Thank you for 15 months! Thank you, thank you! Listen. Something about me is that I am very much perfectionist. Oh, that's bent in the wrong way. Especially if it's something for somebody else. Not necessarily me. Then yeah. <laughs> I want to be perfect with it. not be perfect but it's for my friends so it must be okay that looks better that looks better I'm gonna wait for this to cool more so that way it doesn't heat up as fast when I try to get out of the bottom part <clears throat> yeah I gotta be perfect cause friends so then after uh, we get this shaped correctly i'm going to mold it to this 
these clips. And then... We get to prime it with the wood filler. Buggy Sam! Thank you for six months! Thank you! You don't understand. It's okay, you don't have to understand. You can just vibe. I'm not always the best at explaining things. I use black warbler for the antennas. I'm just getting there. <clears throat> okay, nice. Cinder, they are antenna. They are supposed to be organic. Calm down, if it is not symmetrical, it is okay. Me coping. Did I spell it? W-O-R-B-L-A. Warbla. as good as I'm gonna get it. Still pretty good. Just gotta bend this one into shape a little bit. Sweet. <clears throat> so now we get to attach these. So what I'm gonna do is cut the wire because we don't need it this long anymore. What did I do? I'm just crafting. So you should use wire cutters for this. But because these scissors are indestructible and the wire is kind of soft, it'll be okay. It fell on the floor. Oh, it's way over there. Oh, okay, that's fine. <clears throat> mm. Make it a little shorter. That's better. Much better. Okay, so. We're gonna take some of our warbler scraps and use them. <laughs> you good, Red? <laughs> <clears throat> okay. So, me thinks. Gotta get the angle right, too. That's another thing. Yeah. Like that. Alright, so. We're gonna take a little scrap. And 
another one. Like that. Might be a little bit much. I'm gonna cut that smaller. There. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm gonna be airbrushing. So right after Warbler, we're gonna prime it with wood wood filler. No, not have I been saying wood glue? I think I've been saying wood glue. We're gonna use wood filler to fill in the rough texture of the Warbler, and then we're gonna sand it to make it nice and smooth. And then I'm gonna airbrush it with the same colors that I use for the ears over here. <clears throat> Alrighty. So first things first. Heat up the warbler. Nice and hot. Not my pliable enough. Also heat this up too. <clears throat> Let me try smushing it onto here first. Because it should hold at least a little bit. Wait for it to cool. Who am I gonna cosplay myself? And I'm making these for Yuzu. Probably still gonna have to bend it a little more after I glue it. Okay, I'll leave it like that and then we'll just uh, reheat this up again. Epic Zen! Thank you for the gift sub! <laughs> yeah, I'll be giving these to her at WeebCon. These will be done by tomorrow. I've got tomorrow off of streaming. So... I'm gonna be using that time... to paint these. There, so I just wrapped this in the warbler. Smushing it all on there. I'm gonna be using the same airbrush paint I used for her moth ears. Yes, please no leakers. I want her to be surprised. But I also wanted to share this with you guys because I'm really excited about it. Okay. <clears throat> Might do one more layer of this, but I don't think I need to. <gasps> That's gonna be so cute. It's hard to show you guys an example of this, but pretty much this is a little barrette, a little hair clip, and it bends open like that, and then you slide it, your hair between it, and then once your hair is inside, you snap it back, and this part goes like against the curve of your head, so it'll be able to stay just like that. We'll give it a bit more of a curve. Cute! I think I got the angle pretty close. Maybe a little sharper. I'll have to test it on my head. <laughs> yeah, so with foam clay, 
Uh, it tends to kind of just keep twisting around the wire. And the thing with foam clay is that it is uh, like soft and squishy. But my fear was that if it's too soft and this part were to bend, it might actually snap off. So I didn't want that. But Warbler is very sturdy. Yeah, if it's like flat against the head, although if there's a curve to the head, it might be a little too sharp of a curve. I'll have to test these. And I'm gonna put one more tiny piece because there's a little bit of a crack in the warbler there. So I'm just gonna put another thin, thin, thin strip there. And then any extra bumps will be sanded out when I put uh, the wood filler and sand it. Don't do this. Do as I say, not as I do. Oh, it needs more heat. Oh, that's hot. A little more on the other side. Come on. Do as I say, not as I do. Trust me. I'm a professional. <laughs> yeah, Warbler's with an O. Warbler. Whoa, 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 blah. Don't try what you're about to see at home. Yes. Do it at a friend's house? <laughs> uh, probably wouldn't recommend that either. <laughs> I'm just smushing this all together. So there are no cracks. Got heat. Zombie apes, thank you for three months. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hello. Cool down, please. I need like a bucket of ice. Sometimes uh, people use like um, buckets of water filled with ice to. Um, to style wigs. So I know this sounds weird, but like... So a lot of synthetic wigs that you'll use for cosplay are made out of like tiny little strands of plastic. And what some people do, like especially for like curls, to set the curls, they'll put the wig in like foam rollers and then they'll stick it in a pot of boiling water. And then after a while, they'll take it out and then dunk it into a, a bucket of ice water. And I guess it like styles the wig, <laughs> like it sets the curls or something crazy like that. Pretty wild. <laughs> the 
so many people getting timed out and banned. Skill issue. <laughs> no, actually. If you have like a really cheap wig, then heat will damage it. But if you have a nice high quality one, then it takes to heat pretty well. Like with normal like hair heat styling products. much better. So now that little crack that was there is all smoothed out. Nice and pretty. <clears throat> so now we're gonna attach this antenna facing this way. Yeah, this cosplay is actually gonna be for you, Zoo. I'm gonna surprise her with it. So please, no leakers. It's gonna be a secret. Shh. <laughs> hey, I think that looks good. I'm gonna have to test it out before I put the uh, wood fill. No, not wood filler. Wood. Yes, wood filler. Wood filler, not wood glue. Both are very common cosplay item, <laughs> cosplay tool. Tool, um, material? What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. Maybe just material. Pet the mods, thank you mods. Thank you mods. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hyper Pyro, thank you for a whole year! Thank you, thank you! <laughs> ingredients! <laughs> the ingredients to cook up a cosplay. <laughs> yeah, Crunchy, you wanna pick with red in the main outfit? <laughs> Based, understandable. at the right height so I'm trying to gauge I think I gotta cut this shorter I'm just gonna line up this in the same spot. That's right there. We're cooking for years, but it's a secret, so don't tell her. I'm gonna put this like that. Freaking out. Mm -hmm. 
think it's in the same spot. Zen, thank you for the gift stuff. Hey, thank you. You heard Red PP Gang, we got a sub girl to crush. Huh? What did he say? What goal? What, 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 what are we doing? Grumpy little dude, thank you for five gifts and subbies! Phantom, thank you for two gift subs! Thank you! Hello? Sorry, I wasn't looking, I was crafting. Demon Sword Wielder, thank you for five gifts and subbies! Thank you, thank you! Okay, I think this is gonna stay. 2,000 subs for made picks? Nah. -uh. No way. Papa Wolf is about to have a new photo game for red? red as a cat maid. <laughs> Poopy Loopy, thank you for seven months. Arcus Rune, thank you for 10 get them subs. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. Amateur Magic, thank you for 10 gift subs! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! Nutella, thank you for 5 gift and subbies! Thank you! <laughs> what the heck? Alrighty. I think those will be pretty even. Just gotta adjust the curves. Heat this up. Blaze, what the fuck? Hold on, hold up. Gonna break immersion. That's quite big. Impressive. Thank you for the 50 gift subs, Blaze. Holy shit, thank you. Thank you. Grandmaster Yoda, thank you for 20 gift and subbies! Thank you, thank you! Blop, thank you for 10 gift subs! Thank you! Thank you so much, thank you! Holy shit, you guys are so generous. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you! What the hell? <laughs> Holy moly. Project Bloodshed, thank you for the gift sub. Mush all this war blood together. Big Blue, thank you for the get that sub! JRPG, thank you for five get that subbies! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Hold on, give me a second. I think Red... Oh my god, he did it. Hold on, let me move this. It didn't refresh, dude. What's happening? Oh, there we go. All right, have fun. You guys don't have to hit this goal. This is stupid. This is stupid. <laughs> no, human, thank you for the gift sub. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. 
hours to perfect a small part of the cosplay. I'm a perfectionist. This is why it takes me so long to make stuff. This is why those ears took me a whole week. <laughs> I'm in hell, Mr. Squidward. Subscribe, Subscribe to, to Cinder, Cinder. Or you're fired. No, that's not true. I'm gonna try to trim this. I don't think it's gonna work. Nah. So there's a little piece of wire sticking out right in the middle there. I'm just gonna cover that with warbler. I was able to cover this wire poking out. I just don't want anything to get snagged on Yuzu. I want her to be safe. Kyokino Chise! Thank you for 20 get the subbies! Thank you! Thank you, thank you! Metal stick, thank you for 10 gift subs! Holy shit, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Hexung Jin, thank you for 10 gift subs! Thank you, thank you! Jim Zero, thank you for the gift sub! Naiva, thank you for the gift sub! Ah, thank you guys so much! Thank you! Are you surprising Yuzu with this at Weebcon? Yes. That's so sweet. Thank you. And we can all wear our accessories together. I'm so excited. <laughs> Where are you, Dej? Done by tomorrow? Yeah. The horns? You mean her little antennas? Well, I can't really test fit them on my head now. Because I gotta go to the mirror and see how they look. But then after that, I'm just gonna slap them with the wood filler. And then I think it dries in like, I don't know, 30 minutes? Probably not gonna do that on stream, but. Then I give them a quick little sanding, and then I can paint them, and they're done. I'll probably give them like a nice, cute little glossy... Or like a satin finish. You know... Clear coat. To give them a little shimmer. A little shimmery shine. But yeah, this is all almost done. And then I just gotta wrap that wire around the headband and epoxy it. The heat gun is to heat up the warbler. Holy shit, Blaze! Uh. Uh, buh buh. Buh. That's quite big. Holy moly. Impressive. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Asai, thank you for 10 gift subs. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So like, what kind of picks are these gonna be? Can we get some clarification on that? Cool? What does that mean? Nutella, thank you for five gift subs. Thank you, thank you. I don't know what cool means. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm trying to get these to curve the same way. How many subs for cat made red only fans? It baffles me. It's so fucking funny that you guys are asking for that instead of one for me. <laughs> All right, if that's what you want. Well, yeah, because it's red. True. Okay, true. To be fair, hmm. I doubt we could ever get you into a maid dress. No offense. <laughs> Why do you think that? I've had some art of me commissioned to be in a dress. We respect you too much for that. <laughs> Red is different. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I mean, if you want to join Red in this mess, by all means, go ahead, mm, Keck. I'm not volunteering. I see orange. <laughs> you need to cope. The Mao, if the only Vance thing happened to Red, that has to be part of their introduction. Hi, this is Red, my manger. The have a my ad only fans. <laughs> the latter has not been given as an option, so we go for the one that keeps making losing bets. <laughs> So true! That's on you, buddy. <laughs> oh shit, I think that is symmetrical. I think that... I think... This one is a little taller. Snip the tip. Still just a little bit. We're listening to the Stream Beats EDM playlist. Okay, that looks better. Muffin to nice. Wait, question. How many yeah. time has Red showed up in a maid outfit for a con? Once. Gonna be twice. <laughs> Okie dokie. I 
Okay, you know what? Maybe... Maybe I can test out what these are gonna look like. Give me a second. Just a second. I'm gonna use my other phone. <laughs> So I think they're a little, they're kind of, they're kind of turning out this way a little too much. So I'm just going to try bending them up. I think I might have made them too tall. Let me bend them forward a little more so they look shorter. They're so cute! <laughs> the same again. Another test fit. I'm cooking. I gotta reinforce this. The warble came off the wire. Oh no. Warble is not flexible, so it is not intended to bend. So, I'm going to wrap it up. Yeah, with the scraps. Snip. 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 Okay. Don't do this. Not hot enough.
Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not all show approved. <laughs> it's fine. Do not try this at home. Cinder is a trained professional. Though yes. she still shouldn't be doing this either. You hear something? <laughs> First cosplay ever made? Pork is D Ace from One Piece. A shirtless man. Imagine being a young teenage girl and trying to explain that to your mother. No, don't eat up. Do not bend. So now that should reinforce this. Just waiting for it to cool down again. Still warm. Good flexible alternative for more of um, I mean, I guess foam, oh, yes. but it's Port not really a the same. Ace. There are no indecency problems that can't be solved with a flesh tone t shirt. Exactly. Exactly. See, you get it. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna bend this a little further. Oh. I think it needs to come out further. That's why it looks a little too tall. Shadow Wolf, thank you for the gift sub. Yeah, let me try that. Oh, I put my phone away. Oop. Let me see. Little more. putting that made outfit on. Well, he's got to wear it anyway. Try that. I think that's looking a little better. I think so. Because the whole idea is to get this to stick out a little further. That way when it's clipped onto the headband, it'll look like it sits farther up on her forehead. If that makes any sense. You know, because you have the headband, right? The headband sits kind of where the ears are, but the antennas kind of come out a little further. Oh, that's the wrong side. They come out a little further. So that way, when she puts this on her head, and she's got, she's got like dark hair naturally. So hopefully this will look okay on her natural hair.
Let me check it again. That's the problem I was having. Yeah, it's a secret. At least I'm trying to keep it a secret. Not a very well hidden secret, but you know. <laughs> Straighten this one out too. Shadow for the biddies. Why is it bad to reheat it? What does that mean? Reheat what? Warble is meant to be reheated. Crunchy, you good on that? How did the ears attach to the headband? Okay, so when I was making these, uh, the inner structure is very thin EVA foam, like craft foam. And so there's a wire that runs here all the way around to the tip and then here and all the way back out again. So what I'm gonna be doing, this is simple enough for me to do off stream. Pretty much what I'm going to do is wrap the wire around the headband I still have to figure out the proper position, but pretty much it's going to wrap and loop around. So I'm gonna make a bunch of loops. Let me make one. There's one loop, and then I'm gonna tighten it. Just kinda gotta get it around so that the end of the wire doesn't scratch up the fur. So it's gonna loop around a couple times like this. And I'm not gonna clamp it with my pliers just yet because I wanna make sure I have wiggle room to slide it up and down depending on where it sits the best on the head. And then once it's in the right spot, I'm gonna get my pliers out and really like crimp down on this wire to get it to hold. And then once I do that, yeah, I need my pliers at this point. <laughs> and then once I do that, I'm gonna very carefully put epoxy on the wire and the headband so they kind of join together like that and because this curve is a little bit off since i have the wire up in here i can actually bend this in more depending on the curve of the head so that way it doesn't like stick up funny at the top of the head but then the rest of the hair should cover any other separation from here being in the headband see so Usually when you look at a headband, they they tend to stretch a little bit because your head is a little bit bigger than the headband. So that will kind of compensate this extra room in here. Yeah. You see it now? So yeah, I'm just gonna do that to both sides. And that way she will have a nice a nice little moth ear to just boop on her head. And then these I guess I should do, oh no, I should do this one. So that's gonna go there. And then these, we'll be able to clamp right on there. So, oh, it's kind of hard because nothing's attached really permanently. And with the hair also in here, it'll hold to the headband a little stronger. Oh, you see the vision! You see the vision! Katu! 
Holy shitty dead did you Do not fall into the temptation Thank you so much And the hellhound comes so bubble It's pop wolf oh yeah it's pop a wolf and the hellhound comes too pop a wolf Yay! Thank you! <laughs> thank you, Katu! Yoko Boss Normandy, thank you for the gift sub! Oh, yeah. The division. Division. You see it. Okay. Yeah, this is the one I bent in the right direction. So now I gotta just match it. It's not a full cosplay, I'm just making the ears for her and her antennas. Could I just wrap the ears around the headband and be done with those? Yeah. But she needs her little antennas! She needs her little moffy antennas. your magic thank you for the sub welcome neo saddle thank you for the biddies come on okay what the heck yeah i want to make good Built like that. Mm, that's not right. That's better. Yeah, for the panel and the big group meet and greet. Yeah, do as I say, not as I do. Hello, Cinder. How you are you doing hurt. tonight? I'm doing I'm good. late to the stream cause I am doing a marathon of all four Monsterverse movies in preparation for the new Empire. Hell yeah. Just finished Godzilla 2014 and Kong, Skull Island. Up next will be Godzilla King of the Monsters. <sighs> I hope you're enjoying your movie marathon. Why is this not looking right? You did a really good job. Thank you! Spartan, thank you for five gift subs! Thank you, thank you! Okay, where am I going wrong with this? Symmetry is so fucking hard. <laughs> Oh, I just fucking snapped it again. Are you kidding me? Ah! 
I've got to go and pack in order to go to Texas tomorrow. Friday will be today a little too soon. Cinder six shy. Mm-hmm. Good luck with that. Yeah, this isn't meant to be, um, bent like I am doing. Meow. I'm Cinder's lap cat. Oh. Oh my. Who's your favorite? Come on. Th this is no contest. Giant. Fire breathing alien lizard or big monkey. Come on, come on. <laughs> lewd tuber. I don't know, not much of a lewd tuber. What do you mean? Okay, I'm gonna put these on again. Try to see what they look like on my head. Keep calling Kong a monkey when he's an ape. Guess we should start calling you a dog then? Kek. No, that's the same thing. That's that's different. Ban him! Mr. Waffle! Send them to the Do Not Post channel and get them banned! I recently gave my the sister the cinder so plush cute. that I ordered for her and she loved it. Oh, that's so sweet! Just checking myself out on my own phone camera. You might still be a little too far apart though. Thought I'd let you know that <laughs> mommy loves you. Uh, thank you. Oh, I still think they're a little big. Hold on, let me see what it looks like with the ears. the wires back <laughs> monkeys have tails apes don't kong doesn't have a tail <gasps> there is a difference oh, this is cinder so six cute. laugh just noting the irony oh this is so cute okay I think I'm actually gonna have to fiddle with these in the mirror because I don't trust my phone camera too much. <laughs> but I think, I think definitely have to pull these forward because they just look a little tall. 
So I gotta make sure they're more forward and that you can still see the curve in them. Like that. So I think that's gonna be the way to go because sometimes they look like they, they kind of fall a little bit this way. But hopefully once I do end up wrapping the wire around the ears and then finding the right place for these on the headband, that it'll come together pretty easily. Or at least better. Definitely this one giving me the most trouble. But I'll make it work. And then once I put the wood filler on it, it'll gain some more structure. Hopefully seal this little weak spot in more. I'll probably reinforce that a little bit too. Let me do that right now, actually. Just put a little bit more on there. I just don't want it going anywhere. <laughs> Be nice to Digit, what the fuck? <laughs> it's good to see you. <laughs> Red, send yourself to the do not post channel and get yourself banned. <laughs> Like right here. Uh, more heat. Less foam. Waffles to the max. Thank you for getting this. The digit. Thank you. Guys are so sweet. I know. I think Red's a little power hungry today. I never knew streaming would be so hard. I have been streaming for over a month and I still can't get any views. Any advice, Cinder? So, um... Are you just streaming? Or are you also uploading to YouTube and making TikToks and YouTube Shorts and advertising on Twitter and checking your analytics and watching your streams back and networking and making friends? There's a lot more to streaming than just going live. A lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> Making enemies, eh? <laughs> no. Also, a month is not a very long time. Some people spend years grinding. You're really at the mercy of the algorithm, to be honest. Rodents, thank you for two months. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Streaming is the easy part, it's the rest that destroys your soul. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so true. Unfortunately. Red's getting power hungry. Got to get a vlog of him going to the maid cafe in uniform at WeebCon <laughs> Cinder 6 Omega Lal. Think they give him a job? <laughs> Your boy Ham, thank you for the tip! Going to an anime rave by myself in May. Hell yeah! Got any tips? Uh, I've never been to an anime rave. The only rave I've been to was the one at WeebCon last year. Um, stay hydrated. Um, if there's alcohol, uh, drink in moderation. Especially if you're going alone. Make a friend. Make a buddy. Stick together. Seems like a great place to make friends too. Okay. Feels much sturdier now. And then I can sand that down. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's definitely a good idea when you go out to new places to bring a buddy. Safety in numbers. Yeah, unfortunately, sometimes you do have to cover your drink. But there is this uh, nifty little device. Got to appreciate the time, effort, and love that you poured into those antennae. They Aww. look awesome when finished. Also, Warbler is a very non-forgiving material to work with. It is very unforgiving. So it does take a while to finagle this a little bit. But also I'm being super perfectionist with this right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's this uh, device. Um, I guess it's mostly geared towards ladies, but like dudes can rock it too. Uh, it's called Nightcap and it is a drink cover. It's like a fabric drink cover with like a little hole that you can put a straw in if you want to. And it folds into a scrunchie, like a hair tie that you can wear on your wrist or something. And then when you get your drink, you can put the little nightcap thing on it and it'll protect it from any unwanted uh, mixes. <laughs> Red Fox, thank you for 10 months. Thank you. I have no idea. I, I was not expecting to do well on that game show last night. Shout out to you Pyro Pups who were hanging out with me and Elle and Tricky and all the other contestants that were on last night. I had so much fun. It was really well put together. Huge props to Elle. I don't know how I, how I guessed them all though. I guess I just had the right hints. <laughs> really smart. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, the Mickey Mouse model, <laughs> right? <laughs> if I was to be on that show, um, I do, there is a model. There's like a free model that comes with VTube Studio. Let me show it to you. It's so cute. Where is he? There he is. Look at it! <laughs> it's a little puppy in a ball. Hi. For people going to actually, comms, wait. You know what? Remember to shower, stay with a friend, cover your drink, and oh, do mind. not be weird and I had recolored this model at one point, but I don't think I saved will be it. There to bonk you. <laughs> also, above all, have lots of fun. Hell yeah! Thank you. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. Where is it? How do I do it? Hold on, what did I do? Is it when my tracking gets blocked? Hold on. I was able to tell no. Cotton by the way she moved her model around and flirted with everyone. And Buff Pup outed herself as soon as she said fuck my ass. I would have never gotten <laughs> the others. <laughs> Buff just has like a specific, like her, her diction, like when she speaks. It's just like so iconic. This is, uh, this is like a little poppy model that comes with YouTube Studio. This is one of the free to use models, uh, like Neurosama's model is the Hiyori model. So like anybody with VTube Studio can use it because it just comes with it. This one, look, now I'm Neurosama. Yo! <laughs> oh wait, there's toggles on her. Oh, so cute. Ah, I didn't even know there were toggles. Aww. So cute. Uh, this one is also a free model on VTube Studio. This is the, like, the creator. Ah. <laughs> They're just cute, simple little models. <laughs> and then the puppy one is called Wanko. And then there's like a bunch of little cats. Mm. There's a black and white cat. Meow. Meow. <laughs> but yeah, there's a way on the Wonka model. If Red is made at Weebcon, is he going to make sure everyone eats their vegetables? Uh, probably. There's a way to get like... There's a little lid that covers the bowl and I don't know how to do that. Oh, 
Oh, oh! I just saw it out of, the, out of like the corner of my eye. Hold on. How did I get it? What? No remember. Mm. No, it's not cheek puff. Ah. <laughs> ah, man. Oh, wait. I don't know. I thought I could figure it out. Anyway. Let's go back to me. Ah. There we go. I'm back. Hello. Little Chuckles, thank you for seven months! Thank you! Okay. Gonna keep... Oh, wait, my tail. Gonna keep finagling. Hey, Lazu! What's up? What's up? We're making stuff for Yerzer. It's a surprise, though. No leakers. Oh, wait. I gotta show you. Cannot wait to see the red pourer of pupkind in a cat made Bam. outfit this weekend. Gonna be fun. Ears. They're way more vibrant on this webcam than they are in real life. <laughs> they're 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 literally like like a burnt orange, like like a nice like rusty kind of color, like a very close accurate match to Yuzu's ears. <laughs> Fluffy moth. So now we've been working on her antennas. Her little antennas. Thank you. Yeah, I think I just gotta work on these in the mirror because trying to get these angles right. And then trying to put these on my head. Difficult. Very difficult. And then I gotta put wood filler on these and sand them down. To get them like smooth little muffin tennies. Well, that's too far. Yeah, I feel like if I keep trying to finagle with this warbler, it's just gonna bend and break. Might be best to hey finish Cinder, I was stream. wondering if your meet and greets were gonna be inside your land yes. or if they were inside the meet and greet room Weebcon has on their map. I didn't no. get to go to any meets last year, so I'm kinda lost when it comes to that. All the VTubers uh, invited for Uuland, so all the VTubers that are listed as guests on the Weebcon website will be in Uuland. But then there are also some guests invited by Novel Horizons that are different announcements that you can find on Novel Horizons page. I don't think they're on the official Weebcon website because it's like separate. But yeah, all the, all the VTubers on the Weebcon site will be doing meet and greets in Ula Land, virtual and in person. Yeah, Ula Land. By Ula Market. They do my merch. Marza Marza fan! Happy sub, baby! Thank you for nine months! Thank you! Okay, so... Me thinks... It is best if I... Finish these in front of a mirror, so I'm not finagling even more. 